Hi everyone, I'm Min Kawagoe, which is a perfect city from the day trip from Tokyo. This was one of the biggest commercial cities in Japan back in old Edo period. They have kept it their old traditions and preserved it all the way into the 21st century. And you can feel like you are traveling back in old Tokyo. So today we will be exploring the old city and eating some street food. So welcome to my Kawagoe tour. Okay, I got this. I was waiting for one hour to get this. And this is actually scorched rice ball and put on the soy sauce. And there are dried bonito flakes on top. Smells really good. This food vendor is called Nakaichi Honten. This place was the most popular of all places that I went to today. They will grill the rice ball right before we get it and put on lots of sliced bonito flakes which are flakes of smoked, fermented, dried bonito fish. Instead of bonito flakes, there are also sardine flakes on rice ball as well. And this is called nekomama in Japanese, but actually that means the food for cats. <laughs> so I'm eating like cat's food. <laughs> but of course it's really good, and humans eat it too. Wow, it's so crispy outside and there are so many like onido dashi flavor in it and it's really good and I can taste a little soy sauce flavor and a little bit salty but it's really good with this bonito flakes Alright, next place is called Denbe. They are selling grilled eel When I pass by the shop, the smell of grilled eel fills the air and I was lined up at the shop before I knew it the eel is popular food in Kawagoe, so you should visit here. Look at this! That smells really good! This is grilled eel and put on the sweet soy sauce on it. It's so good! It's really hot inside and it's very fluffy inside. When you put it in the mouth, it's melting at your mouth and taste with sweet soy sauce. It's amazing! Mmm, wow, it really melts in your mouth. The meat is so good and sweet. Mm. Very good. And I'm pretty sure it has bones in it, but the bones are so soft that you can just eat it. You can swallow the whole thing. And even the skin itself tastes so good. It's not fishy at all. Oh my god, that's really good. All right, so I got a craft beer from Kawagoe, and it's called Koedo. I think the Oedo part, without the C, basically means Oedo, so like during the Oedo time, because that's when Kawagoe was the busiest, uh, one of the biggest Japanese commercial districts during the Oedo period. So, going back in time, drinking some craft beer. I don't think they really did have craft beer back then, but let's try to make it feel up that way. Oh my god, that's really good. It's kind of a light lager, uh, not too bitter. It's kind of like more light. Yeah, it's all right. I like it. Look at this, I got golden dango, which is Japanese rice dumpling. It's kind of like mochi. It's really huge. Alai Buhei Shoten is the name of this street food vendor. Usually sweet soy sauce is used for the mochi, but this shop sells the original miso and they use the sweet miso sauce for the dango instead of soy sauce. The color of miso sauce looks gold and shiny, so the mochi is called golden dango and it became popular at this shop. Mm. Mm. <laughs> One bite is so big, so I can't even speak. <laughs> it's really good. Usually miso tastes salty and a little bitter, but this miso sauce taste is so sweet like a caramel and the mochi is so chewy that it's hard to break it with one bite. You should share with someone for this. Even one bite, I can feel very full. So after I eat all of this, I'm gonna be so full. Oh, that's really huge sweet potato and it's really thin. Like a very crispy. 
I got this from Koedo Osatsu-an, which sells sweet potato chips. It's not salty potato chips, but rather sweet taste chips. So you can feel like you are eating some sweets. And I got salty butter sauce. Not only the chips, we can get a dip sauce as well. I ordered salt butter sauce, which is the number one most popular dip at the store. My turn to try out. Mmm. It's a mixture of sweet and salt. And I do taste some soy sauce. It's all yellow, but it does have soy sauce in there. Soy sauce? I think so. No, it's salty butter sauce. Ah, salty butter sauce. That makes sense because it's not it's not brown. <laughs> Very crispy and good. Guess what? There is Starbucks in the Japanese traditional building. Kawagoe's Starbucks is different from the usual because there is a Japanese garden in the shop. You can relax and enjoy drinking coffee at the Japanese style of Starbucks. Japanese Starbucks have original menus that are not sold in other countries. I hope you visit there too. Alright, this is the end of the video. Did you find anything you wanna try? If you like this video, please like and subscribe this channel. Bye!